kick the side show. Hi, we're here with uh, Fernando, and uh, Fernando, you want to, um, you're with which club are you? With Low Creation, San Francisco, and uh, we've been around uh, since 1974. I joined the club in uh, approximately 1981, right after high school, and uh, it took me about three attempts. It's a multiracial uh, club. It was one of the first clubs that broke out that had all the different races, no color lines, no set tripping and stuff like that. And uh, it was just basically a bunch of guys were hanging out in the Mission District. Everyone had a common interest. That was the cars. And uh, 35 years later, here we are. We're still going. Uh, it's been handed over from one person to another. The current president, uh, Joe Phillips. Um, I actually brought him when he came in the club. Uh, I took a 17-year hiatus, and uh, after much pressuring and uh, enjoying the cars, I decided to build the one you see behind you here. Uh, we do a lot of stuff in the local area. We, uh, we help sponsor. Uh, you got uh, toys for tots, the holidays like that, where we find that somebody needs something in the hospital, so we throw a little show, put some money together, and do these kind of fun things. Okay, great. How are you doing, Joe? All right, pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we're here, you know, with um, the president. No, low riding never stops. Uh, it's crazy because it's even in 81 and 79 and 78 and even back to 74 when Derek started this. I'm looking at this car and I'm going, man, I got to get me one of those. And I was probably 15, 14, 15 years old. Think about this. I mean, how many changes have there gone through, has this world gone through in the last 30 years? I mean, I can go down the line and talk about a whole bunch of things. Spinner wheels, uh, you know, street rods, hot rods, whatever. You can talk about anything, but low riding has always been there. And it's still there today, and I think it'll be there forever. Okay, real quick, I just want to add that low Christians also traveled to Vegas. Uh, we've had two cars that have taken sweepstakes. And uh, our name has been traveled everywhere. We've gone Arizona, Vegas, Texas, and we're still a barrier car club. And right now, I want to introduce Don Alonzo, who's our vice president, who's actually my right-hand man. He does everything for this club. How long have you been in, you know, with this car club? Um, I joined the club in, uh, I was blacked up in 89, but I've been rolling around with them for, I don't know, when did I graduate? 83, graduated in 83. So I wasn't really honorable to run, run a flag until like 89, 89 or 90, yeah. Was there, was there some kind of an initiation or anything like that to become a part of your uh, car club? Well, you know, you it's 50% car, 50% 50 percent person i mean you gotta you got you gotta be a have a nice car and, and a good personality you got a lot of guys who have really nice cars and they're just not really you know they're, they have an attitude that's you know out of this world simply. everybody's an uncle you know all of us got kids some of us are grandparents and it's you know it's Family, it's a family club. It's a lot of notoriety happening for the club with the with the release of La, La Mission, this one goes you know, out to my DJ and um, you know, because because uh, La Mission bought a car LLC. club from from La Mission. I'll say hello to my wife, my kids, all the old uh, old uh, Low Creations members that's been around for a long time. I want to say uh, rest in peace, Derek Ward, um, Stan Aruda. What's up, Facto? Hello, I'm here with Marcela Rodriguez. Yeah, Marcelo Rodriguez. And um, what, what was your part in this um, this show? Um, I was the event coordinator. I coordinated all this, um, the show in itself, putting this all together. And I really wanted to um, make this show um, really for people who, you know, put their heart and soul in their cars. So this isn't just a male sport, is it? We, we love cars, too. And uh, sometimes it's not as publicized or, you know, it's not out there. But yeah, I mean, there's a lot of us that just love, love the car, low riding. Like I said, it's, it's always been in my family and it's so important to me to keep that tradition going. And that's what I want to do is just keep that, that lifestyle. And it's something that you feel that it's going away or dying or you get that, you know. So I just really wanted to show that we're here and we're going to stay. And we just, you know, just bring everybody together. I have not witnessed any negativity here at the show. No casualties, everybody, you know, good energy around. That's what I wanted. You know, I just wanted this to be a Lowrider Familia coming together, you know, showing their, their beautiful cars and it's a family, you know, one big family. What part do women take in the actual show besides the bikini contest? And that's what, you know, 
We take a lot of part. We will work to put our men in the backbone of getting these cars done, you know? Um, so, I mean, a lot of us, we pour our money into these cars too. So it's most, you know, there are cars too, but we're just not as out there. There are names aren't put on that car, but we pay just as much for those cars. What would you tell a young female, young woman, Chicana, Mexican, um, you know, of any ethnicity, what would you tell her what, if she wants to become a lowrider? What kind of advice would you tell her? Well, I would say, you know, go for it. I mean, it's not just a man's sport. Women love those cars too, you know. Um, I've seen some beautiful cars here owned by women. Okay, well, um, thank you very much. And um, um, how could we get a hold of you or how could we find you? Do you have like a, a, a Facebook or, you know? Yes, I do. And it is, uh, you know, it's under Marcelo Rodriguez and it's uh, Lowrider Experience. Um, and you can find me on the, on the Facebook or um, find me on www.alsolowriderexperience or ODB Entertainment.